Harry Thomas um, and welcome to the Harry's Crazy Rich Rose UK Euros 2024 coverage. I'm here all the way in England. Alexa's just announced there's going to be another thunderstorm morning. Say goodbye to you and you all of that. Come on, man. And then all the way over from live reporting from Spain, we have the one and only David Thomas. Your turn. Your turn. Well, good morning, uh, and it's not a good morning, in fact, for uh, the 200,000 Scottish fans who've been over to Germany to watch the match. Uh, and uh, we all know the unfortunate result, 5-1 to Germany. And um, it was so bad, in fact, for the Scottish fans that um, they started walking out from half-time. Um, such a shame. Uh, and, of course, um, Scotland's reputation was um, made all the worse by uh, a very dirty foul in um, round about half-time where Germany were heading for yet another goal and their forward was mown down uh, by a Scottish player. And, of course, um, that resulted in a penalty and um, <sighs> Germany were the push. And Scotland were the bowl of cold porridge. Action. Okay. So now, as you can see behind me, we have got the Scotland um, by the um, UEFA. Is it U E F A? Um, the skulls for Scotland. Let me just move out so you can have a good view. So that's what they are saying. That's what they is. So we've got one goal, um, five goals. Um, attempted. We've got seventy-seven percent um passing accuracy, thirty-two percent um as you can see there, thirty-one balls recovered, four tackles won, zero clean sheets, five saves, and a distance covers one hundred and one point two nine kilometers. One yellow card and of course one red card. Get off, mate. Um. Um, now we're going to have a look um, at the players, as you can see behind me, here are, are the players. So this isn't just from last match, here's from the full game. So as you can see we have got goalkeepers, we've got players, and their defenders, we've got, we don't have enough time to show all of them, but um, yes. That is, and then we've got the coach, obviously, here is Steve Clark. That is for Scotland. Okay, and now we're going to have a quick look into the Euros Germany. Um, now, before we talk about that, can we just have a look at how cute the, um, the, the you know, the mascot is? Is it Albert? I don't, don't know. Albert, is it? Is it? Come here. Hi, Albert. You okay? Okay, now I need to get back to my job because, you know, I'm here for a reason. Anyway, Germany did score 5-0, making them the winners and making Scotland the very sore losers. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Anyway, we have got um, Germany with two yellow cards and Scotland with one red and one yellow card with 5-0 to Scotland. Germany and 1 0 to Scotland. Our report from Spain, David Thomas has more. Yes, well, very exciting game, uh, certainly from the Germany point of view. And um, we may not know a lot about the German players, but certainly they've got two young stars, Jamal Musiala and uh, Florian Wurtz. Uh, Florian Wurtz, of course, uh, one of the top goal scorers. Um, so England don't have a monopoly on the young at attacking talent and Scotland uh, are now painfully aware of that. Steve Clark's team were dismantled by the cleverness and intelligence of Germans, Germany's football in Munich and the host nation carry on in this fashion. There may be plenty of pain down the line for all the other teams. Um, Scotland, yes, um, they can be good, but last night was not one of those times. Um... And, uh, yeah, they've got some very challenging games to come. Um, uh, and it's um, Switzerland, which you may think might be easy for them, but not on the form that they were on last night. That's on Wednesday. 
at eight o'clock. And then on Sunday, the 23rd of June, they have Hungary, which might be an easier game. Okay, yes, so we have a Germany a win and a Scotland a loss. We've got red cards for Scotland and yellow cards all round. What are we on about? Come on, England! Come on, Scotland! What are you doing? I mean, I mean, it, it, you know, England win with the rest. Okay, so um, last night there was a red card for Scotland and a yellow card for Scotland and two yellow cards for Germany. Um, so fouls. Um, we've got um, more fouls towards the German side um, and then shots 20 to Germany, 1 to um, Scotland leaving us with a 5-1 to, to Germany it's what, it's what happens if you're presenting this at um, half five in the morning anyway, I believe David Thomas Amaporte from Spain has more Okay, yeah, the atmosphere started off full of uh, hope. Um, people in kilts in the bars here in Spain, um, Scottish supporters, even had some banging the drums in the bar, much to the annoyance of the owner. Uh, but the atmosphere gradually deteriorated as it became obvious that um, Germany were the superior team. Um, in fact, uh, it turned out a 5-1 result was the biggest ever defeat for a team in the opening match of the Euros. So that's um, a reputation that uh, Scotland don't want to have. Uh, Germany was certainly superior and uh, Muriala, one of the goal scorers, actually, um, he plays for uh, Bayern Munich, but was actually born to an English father. So he uh, grew up in Croydon in uh, London and uh, was on Chelsea's books until he was 16. Uh, he could have played to, he could have chosen, of course, to uh, play for England, which is more the pity. I'm sure Gareth Southgate would welcome him with open arms. Um, but uh, 200,000 Scottish fans have taken the journey across to Germany. And I wonder how many of them will be saying, well, it cost us a fortune to get there, but was it worth it? Um, back to you, Harry. Three, two, one, action. Okay, yes, and now we're going to have a look um, a bit more at the matches. So today we've got Hungary versus Switzerland, Italy versus Albania, and then um, cause Spain versus Croatia, we've got some more matches tomorrow. Um, for the Hungary versus Switzerland, that kicks off today at four o'clock. British Standard Time Zone. So for those of you watching it now, we've got two hours till the kickoff for that game. Are you watching it? Are you watching it? Um, who do I think is going to win? Um, I think we had technical difficulties there. Anyway, I think for the Hungary versus Switzerland, personal opinion, Switzerland. That is what, what, what my personal opinion is. And then tonight at today eight tonight at eight we have a Italy versus Albania. Um, who do I think is going to win? Italy, come on Italy, Italy! If you win, can I have a free pizza? I think Italy's going to win. Can I have a free pizza, please? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just walked into the back wall there. And then um, we've got Spain versus Croatia. Cro Cro Croatia today um i think spain's gonna win and a lot of spanish players i think they're gonna win and that is where david is right now in spain do you, who do you think is gonna win spain or croatia well uh, it's obvious to me that uh, croatia are an excellent team but um the flags are out here the uh bar owners are ready for um a lot of customers pouring in for the kickoff here at uh, five o'clock uh, UK time. Uh, my money's on. Uh, it's going to be a very exciting close match. My money's on Spain. Uh, and uh, already at this early in the competition, um, some of the uh, major players are making themselves known. 
obviously uh, Germany up there um, and Spain today. Um, we're waiting for uh, Tuesday when Portugal against Czechnia. Um, and Portugal at the moment are um, favourites to win. Uh, of course, all the uh, all the eyes are turning to the TV screens at uh, 8 p.m. UK time for Serbia versus England. Um, we're waiting to hear what the teams are, uh, but Gareth Southgate is keeping um, his tactics close to his chest. We'll have to uh, fingers crossed, but uh, it's going to be a hard one. little quick 15 second break just for you to watch a quick clip of the highlights or oh, it was an image I'm, I'm not sure it's behind me i can't see it's the people in the gallery you see what was it picture i'll get the picture anyway um uh, how did you find the image was it good yeah okay anyway scotland's wilted face of a scorching german performance as steve clark's 10-man side operate opened Euros 2024 with a dis dismissal beat in Munich. The tone was an electric. Um, the tone was set in an electric Alcaraz uh, arena after, just after 10 minutes as Florent Witz Flor Watts on to the ball to steer the opener. There was time for substitute. There was still time for substitutes. However, that didn't really make a difference. This was a German possession, which, despite Scotland's dif differences, will galvanise the host into the the host nation into believing again. Um, there was um, a red card given. Um, that was from this moment just here behind me. That was from that moment there. And um, the minute Scotland scored a goal, well, the crowds went wild. Um, and then we have got the score charts of um, we've got um, the player of the match um, here, Jay Mulsasson, and then here are all the players. Um, as you can see, we've got all the players there. So they're from Germany, and then uh, from Scotland, here are all the players, as you can see. Here we have them, and then um, also, so the player of the match was from Scotland. He was player number 10 with 8.47 rating. Well done to him. And uh, a bit more about this. Um, how's everything going? How was the atmosphere last night? How's everything going this morning, David? Well, yes, well, I'd like to just concentrate on uh, two of the goal scorers. There were that many, of course, for Germany. Uh, Florian Wirtz um, was one of the youngest players uh, in the team. And in fact, uh, he debuted in the Bundesliga at the age of 17 which was a record, and he was uh, then subsequently named uh, Germany's Football Player of the Year when Bayer Leverkusen won the title. His influence on this game um, was equally sound. He also uh, he almost scored in the first minute with a charge down the left, though an offside flag um, denied him. Nine minutes later, though, he did find the net, and he moved sweetly through the midfield onto uh, a Joshua Kimmich pass to uh, sweep a low shot off Angus Gunn's right palm and into the net off the post. Also uh, worthy of mention, of course, uh, was uh, uh, Gundogan, um, who's now playing for Barcelona, but uh, uh, Manchester fans may remember him as part of Pep Guardiola's golden team uh, from Manchester City. Um, so his part in the second goal was sublime, the quickness of his feet in the middle of the field, one in the space to play a perfect pass through to Havertz, 
the Arsenal forward had the presence of mind to tee up Masala for the finish. So Scotland were lost from the moment they conceded the first goal. Their supporters uh, who were massed behind the goal uh, knew, could see that the damage was done and they sat silent in their seats with hangovers uh, from a, a, a day of solid drinking. So yes, um, a lot of um, sad hearts in Scotland this morning and a lot of cheer for the Germans in Munich. So three matches today, uh, not long to go for the kickoff for Hungary, Switzerland at two o'clock, followed by Spain, Croatia at five, and of course Italy, Albania at eight o'clock. But the uh, excitement's building here amongst the expats in Spain for Sunday uh, evening, Serbia versus England. So we'll keep you up to speed with what's happening on the pitch and off. So from David Thomas in Almeria, it's good night. Okay, so yes, as I was saying, there are the stadiums, and there's lovely old Albert. Hello, Albert. I think that's how you say your name. How are you? You good? Come on, my man. It's it's a green screen, so that's probably not at all where he is. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then obviously, as you can see here, we have um all the um all the teams. As you can see, and then that's all from me, and that's all from David. So until then. See you tomorrow at 10, 11 and 12. Until then, bye bye. <laughs>